Uh, let's talk about free speech or no free speech. Mostly un related to sports, but you can do with it whatever you want. You decide, jurors, you decide if this is and should be free speech. It's funny now, but in the moment, it wasn't very entertaining. I bring this up because there have been so many discussions. Look, I'm in the free speech business, all right? So I'm going to go to the mat trying to fight for the ability to say things that are offensive and not very friendly and all that stuff. But all of these non-legitimate free speech arguments over the past, I don't know, three to five years, maybe a little bit longer, but certainly they've become politically popular in the last few years. Again, back to my point earlier, the Constitution doesn't matter to people in, in a public office. It doesn't matter to them. All they care about is getting reelected. So you've heard these arguments, and I think a lot of you probably even believe this stuff, Um the talking point mantra has been Facebook is censoring you. And that is the scream from a lot of people, both sides, but certainly from the Fox News and MAGA hack crowd. Those are not free speech issues. Those aren't. Um, you have no right to be heard on Facebook or Twitter or this talk show or any commercial platform. It's not a right. This one is a right, okay? This one, those are not. Commercial platforms are not your right. It doesn't matter if your feelings hurt. It doesn't matter if they decide to say, I don't want you because I don't like your voice or your face or anything. You don't have that right. This idiotic post is a free speech argument. And before you render judgment, understand it's not about being tasteful. He's not. It's not about being responsible. He's certainly not. And it's not about having any level of common sense or decency. Okay? You got to check that stuff at the door. The issue is whether the creator of the post, the knucklehead posting this, should be charged with a crime for posting something so dumb or, ready for it, satirical, should he be punished legally for it? And it is, it, it, in some ways, does anybody remember this case? And I don't know what happened to it. And it is so <sighs> flammable. There was a local guy, I want to say kid, but I believe he was 18 years old. And he posted, and this is really awful to even start talking about, but he posted a comment with smiley faces about a joke about a shooting okay not an actual shooting but he, he made a joke and so then the police of course go to his house they arrest him for making the threat and he and his lawyers had argued that the smiley face emojis meant that obviously he was joking around i don't know whatever happened to it um this guy has done something similar not quite so flammable but it had to do with covid all right he's a knucklehead I, look, I'm not defending him. Well, I am defending him, legally. I'm not defending his taste. I'm not defending his responsibility. I'm not defending his decency. But do you want to make it a crime? They did, and now, here you go, George. Uh, his name is Waylon Bailey, and yes, <laughs> yes, his name is Waylon. Not with a D, with an N. Waylon. That's his name. He was arrested in March of 2020, and it's been working its way through the court system, and I think for pretty good reason. This is the kind of stuff that is actual free speech arguments. You crying about Facebook and them deleting you or something is not a, f a free speech issue. This dude found his way into a real free speech issue. All right, so he was arrested. He was arrested. They showed up. They cuffed him. They took him away. Now, a big issue here is they did not have a warrant. I've got a problem with that. March 2020, for a coronavirus joke posted on Facebook. March 20, 2020, after COVID began spreading across the U.S., Waylon Bailey said he was trying to find a moment of levity amid the national emergency. He compared the pandemic to the zombie apocalypse from World War Z, a 2013 movie starring Brad Pitt. Okay. Here's what he posted. Me talking about, am I going to get flagged? I probably am. 
Oh well, this is an issue. This is like a discussion. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not advocating this. I think it's a pretty dumb thing to do. It's really not that funny. But this is a free speech issue. All right, here's what he posted. And it had a bunch of emojis, and yes, his lawyers have argued that should give you some idea that he's joking around. Um, Emoji-filled post. Share, 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 exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Justin, repeat is parish, R-A-P-I-D-E-S. I guess that's where he lived in Louisiana. Of course, it had to be Louisiana. I would assume it's East Texas, but it's Louisiana. Same thing. Rapides Parish, or Rapides, or I don't know how you say it, um, Sheriff's Office have issued the order. If deputies come into contact with the infected, in quotations, shoot on sight. Lord have mercy on us all, he posted. They arrested him an hour later. Okay, they arrested him without a warrant. They argued that Bailey's post was a terroristic threat. Is it? I mean, some would say yes, some would say no. Is it? Is it? Now, that is, this is a free speech issue. You know, you, you whining about Twitter, X, whatever, not a free speech issue. This is. He got arrested, and he was charged with making a terroristic threat. He was released on a $1,200 bond later that day, and the district attorney decided not to prosecute him. He said he lost. Now, here's his argument. And I don't know. I don't know that he's wrong. He said he lost lifelong friends when local news stations reported on his arrest. He said he deleted his social media accounts and barely left his house for months and months. In a weird way, um, gosh, this guy's case is sort of like the Richard Jewell of COVID, Richard Jewell, of course, was accused. You know, everybody loves to say that the media did it. The government is the one who made him out to be the terrorist going back to the days of the Olympic Park bombing. Richard Jewell was this chubby little security guard, pathetic, pathetic little guy who was incriminated by the government. And then, of course, media outlets started interviewing him and Richard Jewell's life was turned upside down. He later won several libel lawsuits. This guy is saying the same thing. I made a joke about COVID and the zombie apocalypse. They arrested me and my life was turned upside down. Now begin the court process. You can decide for yourself if that is that should be free speech. Share, share, share. The sheriff's office has issued the order. Deputies come in contact with the infected. Shoot on sight. Lord have mercy on us all. He, tw- he, he posted. September 2020, Bailey filed a lawsuit that the Sheriff's Department violated his First and Fourth Amendment rights. I kind of agree. I do. Um, U.S. District Judge for the Western District said dismiss Bailey's claims in July of 2022. This thing's been going on for a long time. He ruled the defendants were protected by qualified immunity, a doctrine that shields government officials from liability in civil lawsuits unless it's proven they violated a constitutional right. He wrote that Bailey's arrest. Now, here's the important part. He said the arrest was warranted because his post, quote, may very well have been intended to incite lawless action, end quote. All these rulings are really important because we end up with a reasonable person standard argument. But do you agree with that? That he made the posts and it was intended to get other knuckleheads. I mean, here's, I think, an important part of this. If you're sitting on a jury... Some of us can argue, well, sensible people know better. Do you think we're filled with a lot of sensible people? Do you? So this judge said, no, 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 no. Come on, man. I mean, this is going to get this is going to get other knuckleheads worked up. And the knuckleheads, once they get worked up, they do terrible things. So this judge said, you knew you had to know when you made the post that enough dumb people would react in dumb ways. And it could have created a problem. And there's probably an argument for that. Right. He then appealed. It made its way until this past month. Um, The appellate judges declared that Bailey's Facebook post was not a threat and did not incite violence. The reference to Brad Pitt's fictional character, and this, this is pretty cool. The reference to Brad Pitt's fictional character was a giveaway that it was not serious. 
Here's what, just now, an appellate court has ruled. The Post did not direct any person or group to take any unlawful action immediately or in the near future, the judges wrote. At worst, they said, his post was a joke in poor taste. But it cannot be read intentionally directed to incitement. So in other words, reasonable people know that it's not a zombie apocalypse. They, which makes me happy, they used the, the ruling that a reasonable person would know that it was a joke. Now, you're going to say back, oh, yeah, Jeff, what about the idiots? We're not exactly a culture filled with reasonable people, are we? We're filled with a bunch of idiots. Well, what do you want to do about that? That's exactly what the court is saying. We can't operate that way. The guy was joking around. He said a zombie apocalypse. Yes, yes. Your knuckleheaded neighbor in the tinfoil hat may get a gun and go do something. You're right. But we can't live like that where somebody makes a completely tasteless, offensive joke and they get arrested. Reasonable people had to know better. His lawyer said this. See if you agree with this part. It clearly lays out that police have have to respect First Amendment rights online. They can't arrest people who make jokes about them. Uh, All right, how do you feel? Um, Do you think there'll be more of it? Of course there will be. Yes, of course. Yes, I, I didn't say it was tasteful. Never once. I'm good with that. Absolutely. Now you're going to say, well, Jeff, you're in the offensive business. Yeah, well, I'm also in the business where, and you should be too, that just because you make a joke about the cops, you go over the top about the cops, they can't come and knock on your door. But they did. And they arrested him without a warrant. So he wins for now. I'm not saying tomorrow he won't do something else knuckleheaded. I'm not saying he's even a bright guy. That... That, unlike all the others screaming about, ooh, free speech, this one is a free speech issue. This one's the real thing. And he ended up on the story of the Washington Post today. He just got word yesterday that he won his appeal. Uh, I assume that means he can now move forward by suing them, which I think is also justifiable. And I think a lot of people, when you just read the Post... And you just start to think about not everyone is reasonable. I bet a lot of you will disagree. I mean, I could see different courts ruling different ways. I can see, if I had to take a guess, I think most people would say this guy was over the top and should not be protected by free speech. I disagree with you. But I think the majority of you would probably side with the first court ruling that said, come on, buddy. We know knuckleheads are going to react. You can't go around posting stuff like this.